Welcome back. Sasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And uh, I am uh, answering a tag video. I was tagged by my good buddy, Super Steel Steve. If you're not already subscribed to his channel, definitely stop this video right now. Go check him out. Awesome dude, doing some awesome work, giving back to the community. And I don't think you'll be disappointed. All right, he tagged me to do... Uh, this tag that's been going around the your top five knives with the twist video and These are the categories you're gonna be finding your your grail uh, Tank your performer your shocker Yeah, not not the shocker shocker not the shocker, but the shocker and your overall and I was tagged a long time ago to do this video by Steve it just taking me so long because it's so hard to choose and I'm just gonna tell you right now some of these I have more than one I'm sorry couldn't couldn't do any better but I'll try to give the favorite of those in the bunch okay and we'll start it off oh wait before I get started I'm gonna do some tagging and I'm gonna tag my buddy slicey dicey yeah Brian you heard it. you've been tagged if you have if you have already done this video then just don't worry about it so I lose track so Brian slicey dicey my buddy JT from JT's Knife Life. And oh, love them knives. Yep, my daughter loves her some JT Knife Life. And uh, so those those three, Slicey Dicey, JT's Knife Life, and love them knives. If you haven't already done this video, you're up, people. If you have the time, if not, it's so cool. It's okay. So let's start out with the grill. I got super lucky, very blessed this year, and I was able to acquire some of my grails. And those were... The Atlantic Knives Busker. I got super lucky. I couldn't have afforded this knife. Um, I picked this up in a trade and couldn't be happier, especially I just put a nice edge on there, nice and sharp. So that's that was my first grail. And my second, another one that I never thought I would have obtained, and I've absolutely been loving it. Still need to do the video on it, and that is the... Uh, 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 the Shirogorov Neon Light in S90V. That's an M390. Excellent knife. Smoothest knife in my collection by far. So much to love. Few things that I don't like, but overall, excellent knife. So, if I had to choose out of these two, it would be the Neon. Just by a hair. Alrighty, and the tank. I had four knives to choose from on this one, and I'm just going to show you all. First one, the Beast, the Cold Steel 4 Max. And even though this thing is beastly in every dimension, look how much sticking out. Not only is it beastly in every dimension, it's nicely, nicely and decently ground. It's got a flat grind. Uh, it's 25 thousandths behind the edge with a 17 degree per side edge on there. And pushing out like 4.8 millimeter stock. This thing, I've already put it to the test, so I know it's a tank. If you want to see me uh, put this this bad boy uh, to test, go check out my video uh, where the 4 Max destroys everything in its path video. So there's my first one. My next one is a Microtech, and that is the SOCOM Elite. Another beast, uh, 4.8 millimeter stock, I think. This guy is just like this ground, just like this one, uh, with that 4.8 millimeter stock coming down to a nice thin edge. Mine's reading, uh, what was it? 25 thousandths behind the edge, which I think is the same as this one. And that thing has a 17 degree micro, uh, 17 degree per side edge as well. So these, th these two things, these two knives were head and head. For you know how thick they are and how well they're ground. Um, next one is the Spyderco uh, K2. This thing's just a beast. I mean, look look at the size of this guy. It's it's close. It's 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 longer than the Four Max, but the Four Max is way more stout. Um, so if I had to choose between this this or the Four Max. In this one of the 4 Max, it'd be the 4 Max. This one's not going to win. The only reason this one made it that far is because it's got 10V steel. Uh, excellent, excellent steel. But this one is, uh, I think, 28,000 behind the edge. And 
uh, that has a 15 degree per side edge on it. So decently thin behind the edge, but just doesn't slice as well as these two. And the last one, probably beat these two, but it's just too new. I haven't had it enough. And that is my Berg's Blade Slim. And I think the only thing slim about this is the edge grind. And as you can see, it's got a nice uh, hollow ground blade right there. That skinny bevel right there is 14 degrees per side. And the behind, the behind the edge thickness is 16, 16,000. So very, very thin, performs excellently and is a beast of a knife, little chunky monkey. But I haven't had enough use on this guy. So this one will have to go. And to be honest, I, I hadn't had this one that long. And, uh, it's also riding on bearings, even though it's the most solid locked up knife I have on bearings I own and the smoothest, but if I'm gonna have absolute sheer performance, I know this one can handle it because I put it to the test, so that'd be my, my tank. Now down to the the performers, and I call a performer one that's just a super slicing demon. It has great edge geometry, holds an edge nicely, and that, that's that. This used to be my all-time uh, best performer or slicer. That is, a, yeah, it is a Boker. I know that. It's a Boker Excalibur 1 and S35 VN Steel. Nice thin blade stock. And look how thin this is. This thing is super paper thin. Almost feels like I could bend this guy. So incredibly thin. That's a 15 degree per side uh, bevel on there. Look how thin it is. Very, very, very thin. I can't, my camera's not even focused into that. Uh, only thing is this, this edge, I don't know if it's a heat treatment or not, it's just not that stable. I know that's thin, but I mean, I'm not going crazy, cutting crazy things with such a thin edge. This is using my cardboard destroyer right here. And it performs really good majority of the time, but the, the edge tends to uh, roll often on this S35 VN. So there you go. That was my, my initial, uh, performer. But then I picked up this new guy and it performs amazing. And that is my Manly Knives Wasp. Uh, let's compare. I think they're comparable in stock. And pretty, pretty comp. This one is, yeah, this one's 8,000 behind the edge. This one's 8,000 behind the edge. So there you go. They're pretty comparable as far as, uh, thinness. This one is a full flat grind. This one is almost a full flat grind, but you have about, the same height and blade in, in, with a uh, flat grind. But overall performance, I'm going to have to give it to the Wasp. This is S90V. Um, I've sharpened this one a good amount of times. Now, I do have a nice nick in the blade right there, but that was just me being stupid, trying to test, <laughs> there you go, trying to test this S90V out, and I... I hit it on a nail and just flatten out the apex a little bit. But the knife is still in great working condition. There you go. This would be my overall performer so far. All right, the shocker. The shocker has, it, it turned into a shocker here in the last couple of days. I love testing my knives. I do all kinds of tests with my knives before I do the, my, my full video on them, just so I can have a better understanding of the ergonomics, uh, slicing capability, uh, heat treat, all that good stuff, the steel that's used and the performance of the knife. The shocker of the overall shocker for me lately is this guy right here. This is a quiet carry IQ and L max steel. And all I can say is, Y'all wait for the uh, test video of this where I, I do some testing with it. Wait to see how well this guy did. This thing performed absolutely amazing. It beat every knife that I was testing that day. And I, I tested I tested some knives and some pretty good steel. And this guy outshined them by far. Uh, you know, you got you got nice thin blade stock. And, you know, the, the main role for this knife for me is is you know uh whenever i'm wearing slacks or something or i want something with a very minimal footprint this guy does such a good job it's so slim so thin so uh so narrow you know in every dimension it's, it's just a great you know office carry 
wedding carry, whatever you want. Whenever you don't, you want to make sure that they don't really know you have a knife in your pocket. I didn't expect it to perform as good as it did. And I, I, I hope, I hope y'all watched that video where I, I showed the testing that I did with this guy. And y'all be the judge of that. I think it performed excellent. Not to mention it's got a great action on this guy. Decently comfortable, especially for your broomstick style handle and being so slim. Thought it'd be very uncomfortable. But like I said, y'all wait for the full video of this guy. So that was my shocker. And my overall knife here lately is going to have to be this guy. This guy finds its way in my pocket so often. It's a good cutter. Um, it's just a joy. You know, it's one of those things that if when you when you have something especially expensive as this guy is and this is another one that i got lucky and picked it up on a trade because i wouldn't have had it any other way probably and just everything about it that action just puts a smile on my face um it, it's ground you know pretty good it's it's thin enough let's see i don't know i've never saw how thin it is but it, it sliced as well uh the the heat treatment on it it must be fairly good because um uh, it holds an edge really well. This still has the factory edge on it. All I've been doing is dropping it and touching it up on my sharp maker every now and again. And yeah, look, as you can see, 16,000 behind the edge. So that makes sense. It's a nice slicer. Uh, eventually I'll put one of my edges on it just so I could see if it gets any, the performance gets any better. But, um, I don't know. I've been wanting this now, knife for so long. And now that I finally have it, it's 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 held up to his expectations for me and i just thoroughly enjoy it so there you go that's that's my my top five with the twist hope y'all enjoyed that one i really hope to see these other guys that i tagged do the video as well because i'd love to see their take on this and it's always fun to see what what everybody else you know calls their grill tank performer shaka or overall knife what they're carrying most often all right, guys and girls, hope everybody's had an absolutely wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.